In the midst of darkness, He made light that brightens the sky all day and night. Followed by the sea and land, through His powerful hand, He created them that gives life to the world that has no end. The creatures in the land, in the sky and in the sea, He created them, including me, Anna Marie. A child's smile is a portal to one's success. A child's tears are the graveyard to one's pains. And a child's ideas are the gateways to one's success. This is how we portray a child's life. Full of innocence, full of hopes, full of dreams. This is Anna Marie. A girl whose heart is full of enthusiasm a girl whose mind is full of truth, and a girl whose soul is full of thanksgiving despite the fact that she is more special than us. We woke up each day facing various problems. One might complain why his or her parents doesn't give enough allowance. One might blame their friends for having a very low grades, and one might ask God why they've been struggling this kind of difficulties. These are some ways in how we face every shortcomings in life. We blame, we complain, we ask. She was born with trisonomy 21 syndrome, a type of Down syndrome caused by the presence of all or part of a third copy of chromosome 21. When I gave birth to her, she was a premature baby at trisomy 21. And um, despite of all this thing, we accepted her. Whatever God gave her, we love her. She, she, can, she cannot walk before. Uh, maybe it took about three years before three that years. she can walk by herself. We use a sling to make her to walk. And she's already too, too big for a walker. But have you asked yourself? There are many people struggling as you are, but they were able to face these problems. Every shortcoming is a gift, just like this 12-year-old kid whose disability did not stop her to explore and experience life to the fullest. Unlike any other cases of Down syndrome, Anna is different from them. She's unique. She's one of a kind. Just like any other kids, Anna Marie is one of the children who loves to go to school. She loves to read and write. She loves to participate in the class. This is the life story of Anna as a schoolgirl. How about the her studies? Her studies, I have no problem with her studies as of now. Just like I said, she's fond of reading and writing. For her, she'll be the one to uh, tell you, I have this homework, I have to do this. Tomorrow, I must pass this, I have a project, so I like that. She's fun of studying. She even knows how to operate any, any cell phones. She's observant. And as of now, she knows how to use computer, but she doesn't have the access of internet. We don't allow her. The love and support of her mom and her family gives her the strength to be good in school and get better grades. Anna Marie was awarded as the best reader during their recognition day and she received more awards from the school which we should not be in doubt for she really is an intelligent child. Anna Marie and her family were from Manila and was staying there for years. They decided to transfer here at Dumaguete City for good and now they were currently residing at Hunob, Dumaguete City. 
Despite of Anna's situation, they never surrendered to all the struggles and challenges in life. Hence, they hold hands together and help each other for bringing each member up. Just like any other siblings, they used to fight and argue. But at the end, they make up. Well, sometimes we don't play fair, but we laugh at her sometimes when she loses. I think my sister's more smart. She is like more intelligent and I'm more energetic. She's gentle and she always behaves. Mrs. Harrow, Anna's mom is always there for her. Throughout the years, from the time she gave birth to an angel until the time that Anna is now a grown-up ate, she is there, guiding, providing, and protecting her all the way. When she is in a bad mood, she says something that is really some kind of personal that people can offend them. So that's the only way she can express that she's angry and she's not in a good mood. But she don't hurt anybody. Um, on her good mood, she's a great entertainer. Okay, she's friendly. <laughs> when my my nephew came here, yeah. she's a teacher. She's a teacher. So I know she called. Oh, what's your lesson for today? I oh, need something for Anna Marie. It was uh, not pronounced well. Oh, uh, yes, phonetic. So, yeah, phonetic. Anna Marie told her, No, that's not the uh, proper way to it. pronounce it. Yeah, it. she no. correct it. She correct her. Okay. You don't have to ask her to do things like sweeping the floor or um, wiping the table. She'll With do it. Next thing that I She'll do it. Is okay. She isn't eager to learn. That's yeah. one thing. Anna is now 12 years old, and just like any other girls from her age, she also has her own favorites. She loves to talk to her cat and loves to caress its fur. Aside from cat, she also loves pink. And just like all the girls out there, pink is their signature coat. Another favorite of her is chocolates and other sweets. The sweet taste of it lingers of Anna's taste buds as it satisfies her. She also wants to eat nova chips. When we talk about crushes, Anna will never be left behind. Just like any teenage girls, she also has her crush. Anna loves to dance, to sing, to read, to draw, and now to take pictures and videos. What could be? Thank you. Que sera, sera, as they say, or whatever will be, will be. Life is like a river that will continue to flow. High or low tide, we should not end our sacrifices. We should not surrender to every struggles in life. I am Claire Tubio, and this is Silliman Documentaries.